Hey everyone, welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at another case knife. So I'll just grab the package in here and you can have a look at the box. See the standard sort of grey box with the USA flag there, which is all made out of the different types of pocket knives. I don't think there's a really nice cool touch there. You can see you've got the case logo, WR Case and Sons Cutlery Company and their website. And then you've got the information on the side again here. Tested XX. And then you can see from the box we have number 81092. And this is the yellow synthetic smooth Barlow. And that's pattern number 32009.5 and, and SS for stainless steel. So pretty standard affair inside the box. It comes wrapped in this sort of um, tissue paper here. And then you have a little booklet there of like the product and safety information you get standard with every sort of case knife. So I'll just go ahead and grab the knife now. So here it is, the yellow smooth synthetic Barlow. See it's right off the bat, it's that classic Barlow design where you have the one third of the, the bolster and then the two thirds of the handle. And this was done uh, back in when they first were around, but the materials were quite cheap when they were originally made years ago. So this was done to give the knife that extra bit of sturdiness on the pivot, as it was designed to be a work knife. You can see you have the oval case shield there, with the brass pins and nickel silver bolster. Transactions, transitions and pins really smooth. Nothing to feel there at all. Wonderfully hafted, nothing rough, no smooth lines at all on the back there. Everything as you'd expect. And then on the back springs, you can see you've got this wonderful fit and finish. No gapping at all there. Just you've got them beautifully polished steel springs with the brass liners. And then on the rear of the knife, you can see again that unique sort of characteristic bolster for a barlow and then the brass pins again which are all beautifully smooth and flush you can see you've got really nice termination on the back springs there nice and even blade centering pretty much dead on for both blades maybe the pen blades slightly favoring the show side of the knife but it's not rubbing just a wonderfully made case knife all in all and you can see we do have squared off tangs there, so meaning this knife will have a half stop. So we'll take a look at the clip point blade first. You can see a nice sort of affirmative half stop there. And you do have the case tang stamp there with the one dot on there. And this was the 2019 volt pattern, I believe. So meaning for the one dot for 2019. On the reverse of that, Nothing on the back of the tang, just nice and clean. You see you have a nice clean nail nick there as well. No swedging, anything like that, no sort of bells and whistles. This is purely aimed at just being a work knife, hence the very durable handle material and then just the, the get to work sort of blade. Nice positive lock up there on the open. I mean, look at the profile of that knife. This is the sort of knife that I, I picked and I got the synthetic as I wanted it to be a work knife and it's that's what it's been for me. Had this for a couple of months now and it's pretty much a mainstay in my rotation or if I'm going outside to do any sort of work, I'll normally take like a locking knife and then a sort of a pocket knife like this. But for smaller jobs like cutting open bags, sacks, uh, opening parcels, small bits of gardening, things like that, this is absolutely perfect for. So we listen to the walk and talk on that main blade. Nice snap into the half stop and then a nice snap into the closed position. Absolutely fantastic walk and talk on this. Tangs nicely sort of rounded over so there's no sharp point there at all because they do stick up a little bit there. But my finger's not catching on them, nothing like that at all. And again with everything around here it's all hafted beautifully, there's nothing rough at all. Take a look at the pen blade now. You can see half stop on this as well. And then you can see on the back here you've got USA. This is a USA made knife. The model number which is 32009 and a half and SS 
designating the stainless steel. And then this side you have totally clean and free from any markings. So you got that really nice sort of long pen blade there. Excellent grind on this. Factory grind still on the pen blade, just stropped it a few times. Uh, I've had this quite a few months, I have put my own sort of edge on the clip point blade. But you can see again, no sort of bells and whistles. It's a nice sort of working pen blade, just a nice clean nail neck there and no swedging, nothing along those lines. And the mark up there on the back. Pretty good job there by Case, lines up pretty well, no major gap in when the tang meets the spring. And I believe that to be the case as well for the clip point. Yeah, you can see that they're pretty much the same sort of stuff. So we'll quick look at some measurements now. So you can see you've got the full length of the Barlow, just line that up there being one, two, three, three and a quarter just over three and a quarter sort of a standard sort of size there for the barlow the clip point blade we have at one two bang on two and a half and then a cutting edge of one two just over two inches so again a very uk legal knife but a knife that'd be legal to carry in many places but it's just a fantastic traditional pattern one i'm very very fond of and we'll just take a quick look at that length on that pen blade. So you can see we have an overall length of one just over two inches and then a blade length of we've got one one and three quarters. So again, a very legal knife, one that I carry often and I think one that everyone should have in their collection. If it's not a case barlow, maybe get yourself a sort of a budget barlow, maybe an old timer to get going to see if what you think about the barlow pattern. But Believe me, it's one of those patterns everyone should definitely have and definitely have in their collection. It's a fantastic piece. So there we go, guys. That's my sort of review and overview of the Case Smooth Yellow Synthetic Barlow. I hope you all enjoyed this review. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.